It's been said the American West would still be wild were it not for the windmill, the water pumping machine that allows homes and farms to thrive. In tonight's Weekend Journal, CBS's John Lawrenson of WCCO shows us a collection that might just blow you away. Even on a day with low hanging clouds, you can still see the wind turbines that tower over parts of southwestern Minnesota. These giants capture wind from the prairie, but they're a light breeze compared to what you'll see on Terry Rodman's farm. You are in the perfect part of the state to have a windmill collection. It's kind of all my wife's fault because she wanted a Dutch windmill. In 1999, Terry built that windmill for his wife from scratch. Then to balance things out, he put up a farm windmill and people around Jasper took notice. Then the other people said, well, if you're looking for a windmill, I got one. The other one, I got one, I got one, and it just kind of bundled up. Or blew up into a windmill city. Century old farm relics, once used to pump water out of the ground, found a new home at Terry's. He now has 44 windmills and counting. The tallest is 54 feet high. The shortest is 11 feet. To be in this collection, they have to stand out, like this twin fan windmill from Hutchinson, Kansas. I want something different than everybody else has. And uh, the, uh, the foreign windmills are different. China and Australia and uh, South Africa, nobody's got that many of them. This windmill from Roswell, New Mexico is the widest on the farm. It has a 20 foot diameter. Terry drove a thousand miles to pick it up and bring it back here. He uses a truck to get the artifacts in place and then anchors them down with concrete. Across the road is a sort of windmill hospital. That's where Terry spends time repairing old windmills for other people. Terry has had visitors from across the country, many to reminisce about a time that was, while others just enjoy the farm relic revolution. That's one of the things that really keep us going is people's comment about how glad they are to see somebody collecting these. John Lordson, CBS News, Jasper, Minnesota.